everybody. Could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A new treatment uses nanoparticles to target and destroy cancer stem cells. Researchers at the American Chemical Society designed nanoparticles that specifically seek out cancer stem cells, or CSCs, and released the drug doxorubicin, which is commonly used in chemotherapy treatments. A therapy able to effectively attack CSCs is important since it's those cells which enable tumors to grow back or spread elsewhere in the body after treatment. The nanoparticle treatment was tested on mouse models and found to be far more effective than doxorubicin delivered via more conventional means. The study is published in the journal ACS Nano. Next up, researchers may have found an important clue to how a small percentage of HIV patients are able to control their infections without drugs. About 1 in 300 people infected with HIV are elite controllers. This means they maintain an undetectable viral load without the help of antiretroviral therapy. A new study conducted by Massachusetts General Hospital and the Ragan Institute of MGH, MIT, and Harvard finds that dendritic cells are key to what enables elite controllers to keep HIV in check. Dendritic cells detect pathogens and alert T cells to target them. This new study found that dendritic cells of elite controllers had lower levels of a protein called SAMDH1. The lack of this protein allowed the dendritic cells to detect the presence of HIV and generate a powerful T cell response to combat it. The researchers are working on ways to activate the dendritic cells in other HIV patients in this way in the hopes of inducing an elite controller-like response. This study is published in the journal PLUS Pathogens. Finally, another bit of news from elsewhere in our solar system designed to tide us over while we anxiously await the New Horizons rendezvous with Pluto. NASA has released images which give us the best look yet at dwarf planet Ceres. Ceres orbits the Sun between Mars and Jupiter. It accounts for a third of the estimated total mass of the asteroid belt, of which it is the largest known object. The new images were taken by the Dawn spacecraft, which has been visiting Ceres since March. They were taken approximately 2,700 miles above the surface and provide the most detailed look yet at the terrain of Ceres. Using images from Dawn, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory produced this three-dimensional animation of Ceres, showing the most complete and realistic view yet of this rocky, icy world. Dawn's mission to Ceres is scheduled to last until next year, so this will surely not be the last we see of it, and I'd call that good news. A new nanoparticle treatment targets cancer stem cells. Dendritic cells could hold the key to controlling HIV infection with the immune system alone, and NASA shows us the clearest images yet of dwarf planet Ceres. That's the good news. Now, come on, even you have to admit that's some pretty good news.